Hey art friends, welcome to today's how to. Today we'll be learning how to draw monster catnap from Poppy Playtime 3. So first let's get started in the top right hand corner of our page and we're going to be drawing our face on a diagonal. So starting in the center on our diagonal, we're going to draw a curved diagonal line from left to right for the nose. We're going to join two diagonal lines in together at a point to close that off to make a small triangle. To the right of this for the top of the mouth, we're going to curve this line around and then up. And then we'll do the same thing on the left hand side, curving that around and then up again. Starting in the left hand corner, we're going to curve this line down and then in towards the middle. And then we'll do the same thing as we move over on the right, curving this around, blending that in on the bottom. Let's draw in our eyes now. So on the right hand side, we're going to curve this line around and then out. Moving up on a diagonal, we're going to curve that around and then up. Starting in the corner now, we're going to arch this line all the way up, bringing that back down on the right hand side. And then we'll do the same thing on the left, arching this around and then back down on the left hand side. In the center in the corner now, we're going to draw in a nice big circle for the middle of the eye. We'll do the same as we come up on the left hand side, replicating that. In the middle now, we're going to draw in a small circle in the center. And then we'll do the same thing as we move up on the left hand side. Let's frame in the face now. So in the middle, we're going to curve this line up, bringing that down just past our eye. And then we'll do the same thing on the right hand side, curving that up, bringing that back down on the right hand side. For the cheek now, we're going to curve this line out, bringing this over and then in towards the middle. And then we'll do the same thing on the left, moving this out and then blending that in on the bottom. In the center now, we're going to draw in a curved line from left to right. On the top for the ear, we're going to curve this line out and we'll do the same on the top on the left. Starting at that point on the right, we're going to curve this back around and then in. On the left hand side this time, we're going to curve this line in, leaving a small gap. We're going to curve this line out and then in. And then we're going to do that again one more time. And now from here, starting in the corner, we're going to curve that back around and in. In the center now, we're going to curve that out towards the corner on both sides. And now starting at that point, we're going to curve this around and then in towards the bottom. Moving down now, we're going to draw in a letter C underneath. On the top, we're going to curve this line up towards our chin. And now on the bottom, we're going to curve this line all the way around and then back in. Let's draw in our arm on the top left now. So we're going to curve this line down, arching that line in. On the inside, we're going to curve this line down, arching that in. We're going to continue to extend this line down on the right hand side, bringing this diagonal line further out towards the middle. We'll follow this as we come down on the left. So we're going to curve this line out, ending that at roughly the same height. For the claws now, stepping further in, we're going to curve this line out and then down. And then from here, we're going to curve this line up. And then moving further down, we're going to draw a curved line from left to right. Stepping across again now, we're going to curve this line around and then down. And now starting at this point, we're going to curve this out and across. In the bottom now, we're going to draw a curved line from top to bottom. And then in the center, we're just going to draw a curved line from left to right. Stepping further across again, we're going to arch this line out, down. And now starting at that point, we're going to curve this back in. Moving in towards the middle, we're going to curve this line up. And now one last time, we're going to arch this line out. And then starting in the corner, curving this back in. And then we're going to draw a curved line from top to bottom. 
Moving over now on the left hand side, we're going to arch this line up and then down. Stepping across, we're going to curve that back down again. And then one more time, we're going to curve that out towards the line on the left. On the side, we're going to draw in a small curved line from top to bottom. Now let's draw in the leg behind. So coming further down, we're going to draw in an arch line. On the top of this, we're going to arch this line up, bringing that in in the corner. We're going to bring this line out and then in. And then starting on the left hand side, we're going to curve this line out, closing that off. For the tail on the top, we're going to curve this line out. Starting in that corner, we're going to curve this line around and then down. And now from here on the side, we're going to curve this line around and then in. Let's close off the rest of the legs now on the body. So on the top, we're going to curve this line in. Underneath, we're going to draw in a small curved diagonal line in towards the center. Coming over underneath, we're going to curve this line out, in. And we're going to draw a diagonal curved line, ending that at the same height. Now we're going to continue to extend this out on a diagonal on the left. And the same thing on the right. Moving across, we're going to curve this line around, down. And then we're going to start at that point, curving this back in. On the top, we're going to curve this line around, down. Starting at that point, curving this back in. In the corner now, we're going to curve this line up. Stepping across again, we'll replicate that. Let's move further over towards the right now. On the inside, we're going to curve this line out. Stepping up, we're going to replicate that, curving that out, and then in. In the corner now, we're going to curve this line out, down. And then we'll do the same on the right, curving that around and then down. Moving further across now, we're going to curve this line up and then down. And then in the corner, we're going to draw a diagonal line across. In the corner, we're going to curve this line up for the claw. Moving up again, we're going to arch this line around, down. And now starting at that point, we're going to draw another straight line that comes across. We're going to curve this line up again. And one more time, we're going to curve this line out and then down. And that is it. That's how you draw a monster cat app from Poppy Playtime 3. You can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial and I will see you all on the next one.